Welcome to the National Institute for Health and Care Research Mentoring Programme and this professional development webinar series. I'm Julie Haddock Miller and I'm one of the facilitators for the mentoring programme. In this session, we're going to be looking at the topic of resilience and it will be no longer than 10 minutes long. So the agenda for this recorded session is we're going to look at the factors that influence resilience and consider the six masteries of resilience and the mentoring conversation. As always, we'll end with some reflective questions and some references and some guidance with further materials. Spotlight on resilience. So resilience is regarded as our capacity to bounce back, to recover strength or spirit quickly and efficiently in the face of adversity. And we know it's a protective factor that can help to prevent burnout. In the text, Coaching and Mentoring for Work-Life Balance, which I wrote with my colleague Elliot Tom in 2019-2020, we examined resilience in the context of conversations, both coaching and mentoring, to look at the topics and themes that arise with those that are focused on this area. And we saw that there were six themes which are mapped out here in this diagram, which is in the text referenced below on the slide. I'd like to summarise each of these themes and then we'll look at each in more detail. So the six are our mental resilience, emotional, social, physical, spiritual, and environmental. And what we can see here is a summary of each in relation to our mastery of resilience. Now the first, mental mastery, regarded as one of the most significant determiners of resilience. When working together on your mentoring relationship, you may want to consider uh, the following questions. I've extracted these questions from the textbook that I've referred to, and there are many more in each of the, the chapters. So for example, how do you engage in reflective practice? And what techniques can become more routine daily, weekly, on that regular basis? Emotional mastery, when working with someone to help understand their emotions and understand and respond to the emotions of others, you might want to consider uh, the following questions. For example, how can you become more aware of your responses to the emotions and therefore manage those responses? Social mastery. So we might want to think about different aspects that are important in our lives, uh, where we might need support, or we might offer support, for example. So identifying support needs. Who supports you with those needs? Who can you be of support to, for example? So very much about that connection with others in social mastery. Physical mastery. So we might want to consider our energy levels. We might want to look at a given day or a week. When do we feel most energized or least energized? And what activities can help us feel more energized? Spiritual mastery. What is it that fuels our soul and our spirit? What is it that gives us inner strength with a view to enhancing our resilience? And again, there's some reflective questions here. And environmental mastery, helping understand our ecosystem, how we can navigate our internal and external context. Are there any external issues or events that might be worrying you, for example? How might that influence how we feel at any point in time? So again, just the, the model of the six masteries of resilience, you can take each in turn in a mentoring conversation, or you can look at this more holistically, but it helps provide a framework for the mentoring conversation. 
we can also complete what's called a resilience mapping exercise. We might use a ranking scale of one to 10 to rank our current level of resilience in each of the six areas. So zero to low and 10 to the high, highest it might be. And then we have a visual representation of the current resilience levels and which areas might need more attention. And then what might we start doing to enhance our resilience levels or stop or do more of, for example? And we might use uh, this visual here to map our resilience. So taking the six areas, having a conversation about each of the six and then ranking naught to 10. Then we might reflect on when we look at our current resilience levels, how we're feeling, any surprises, for example, is there an area we might want to focus on? We might take specific action. So it can be very helpful to have a visual representation to work with uh, in the mentoring relationship and to facilitate the mentoring conversation. And again, just a summary here of those six areas. So some reflective questions to take away, what next? So just, just a few questions here to reflect on as you think about your own resilience. There's an online topic guide to accompany uh, this session and there's some links to further reading. And I've also provided some links to further reading on this slide. As always, there's a contact email for development support if you have any further questions. Thanks so much.